Do you want to raise a hog so you can feed your family fresh organic pork? Well today I'm going to show you the best hog pen design. Let's go! Welcome to Becky's Homestead. There's a million hog pen designs out there, but this one is so easy. Anybody can build it, you know, just take a couple days. And most importantly, the hog is so happy in here that you'll never have a problem. And it's built good so you can use it year after year after year. You'll just have it forever. So number one is you have to go buy four hog panels. You can get those at Tractor Supply. I think that's where I got these, basically Tractor Supply. Maybe Home Depot or Lowe's might carry them as well. But Tractor Supply is a sure bet. And they are 16 feet long. So the pen ends up being 16 by 16, which is such a comfortable size for the hog. It just lays around in here. It has plenty of room to walk around and it's just like so happy. You're gonna need big U-nails when you go, just get really big ones. And also you're gonna need the post. I like to do three on each side. So you're gonna have your four posts, you can just count those four, and then you're gonna need four extra posts. Actually, you're gonna need nine posts because you're gonna need an extra one for the gate. So a total of nine posts. Make sure you don't get the skinniest ones because they do have a size skinnier than this size. Right here's one actually, I'll show you. This is like the skinniest size they make, this one and that one, which that is not really what you wanna go for. This is the next size up. So these are like four or five inch posts. The hardest part about building the hog pan is gonna be cutting this front piece because this isn't 16 feet long because you're gonna have your four foot gate here. So what you do is you have to get those big like cutters or if you don't have those, you actually could cut it with a hacksaw, just one at a time, saw through it. So whichever way, it's pretty easy though. Save the piece that you cut off because you're gonna be wiring it to the gate right here that you buy. The gate holes right here, the little hog could fit through there when you get it when it's a baby. So you have to wire the extra piece you cut off to the gate. Works perfect. Make sure your gate swings in. And the reason being, when you back up your horse trailer to load up the hog to take it to the butcher, you want the gate to open in so it's not in the way. And then as soon as the hog gets in, you can just, you know, kind of help it with the, with the gate right here. So what you do, and you might think this isn't high enough and the hog can jump over this. No, it can't. Even when it's full grown, it can't. They don't jump. They like put their feet up there sometimes. They'll like crawl up there, but they cannot get over it. The reason I add the extra boards is because sometimes if I have to put a horse in here when I'm not using it, you know, this isn't high enough for a horse. So just the two farm boards on top makes it perfect and makes it a multi-purpose pen, which that's another thing. It makes it such an awesome design is we also use it for the dog sometimes when we haven't had a hog in here for a while. I'll just mow it down and we'll just, the dogs love it, it's plenty big. When you're putting your hog panels up, make sure, I don't know if you can see this, down here on the bottom, these have two inch holes only. Up here, they're four inch. And the reason being is those little piglets can just squeeze through any little hole. So you have to make sure the small ones are down to the ground and the bigger ones are up here on top. That way your little piglet won't escape. What you can do is you can put all your posts in nice and then dig a little tiny trench so the wire's down in there good because those hogs do root around with their nose. And what I do, as you can see over here, once it's a big hog, it has a lot of power to push and it will push. So what I do is I get these PVC pipes and I just pound them into the ground just to give it a little more stability right here on the bottom. And then I had these cement blocks you can see down there because the last one was extra pushy. <laughs> They're all different. Some never push. They're just perfectly happy in here. Other ones, they'll be pushy. And then just make sure you have a little place for the little piglet to sleep. An igloo, a dog glue does work good. 
but it, it outgrows it quickly. So what I'm going to do is build a little wooden manger stable thing over there for it to sleep in. But at first, this is plenty big, but it will outgrow that. You need a half a barrel like this, and you have to tie it to the fence because they push everything around in here, and you won't be able to find your food bowl because it'll be in the middle. And it's so annoying. You have to come in, get it. It's kind of dirty. So I just use this right here. And it works really, really, really good. And those barrels are like indestructible. And you don't have to worry about it being clean. Some people are like, well, it's a little dirty. It's a hog. They just dig in the dirt anyway. So that's what they do. They root around and look for food. Make sure you have a big, big water tub. I have this one in here for the dogs. What I do notice about the hogs is they'll push the water over every single solitary day. So I put a hook right here. And then what I'll do is I'll have a hay twine, I just use hay twine, down and I'll have it on a bucket. So it, it helps. It still tips the bucket over sometimes because they play with it, but it does help. So it always has water. Here's a really, really, really important tip to make you have success with your hog. Build the hog pen in the shade dark, dark shade. Do not put your hog pen in the sun. Your hog will be miserable and try to get out all the time because pigs don't like it in the sun. So as you can see, um, my hog pen's under this big shade tree right here. And that is one reason why they're really happy in here. And I never, I've never had one escape yet of all the hogs I've raised because they're so happy in here. Okay, so just to sum up, this is simple, simple hog pen design. Anybody can build it. Make sure you build it in the shade. And if you need a description, a list of all the pieces you need, you can find that in the description.